Black Panther director Ryan Coogler revealed that he was handcuffed and put in a police vehicle after being mistaken for a bank robber. I'm just going to take a wild guess and say this hasn't happened to Martin Scorsese, Christopher Nolan, or Quentin Tarantino. And I wonder why. Black Panther director Ryan Coogler recently opened up about a scary and pretty uncalled for situation he found himself in back in January after a bank employee mistook his written request for a $12,000 cash withdrawal as a robbery attempt. According to a police report obtained by Deadline, the whole thing went down while Ryan was in Atlanta, Georgia filming Black Panther 2. Ryan had entered a Bank of America branch wearing sunglasses and a COVID mask when he handed a teller a withdrawal slip that had a note written on the back asking for the cash to be counted out of sight of other customers, reading, I'd like to be discreet. I mean, Ryan's request totally made sense considering that's a lot of cash to be handing out in public. Things went downhill after the teller noticed that the large withdrawal had triggered a computer alert and told her boss that she thought Ryan was attempting to rob the bank. Police then arrived at the location to find two people inside an SUV waiting for Ryan in the parking lot, where his friends told an officer that he was a movie producer who was making a money transaction inside, but a second officer had already entered the building and placed Ryan in handcuffs. Not quite sure how a bank withdrawal slip would trigger a response response quite as dramatic as being handcuffed, but sadly this is a scenario that so many of our black brothers and sisters fear happening to them every single day, or worse, for basic activities like shopping in stores, going for a run, or yep, even a trip to the bank to take out your hard-earned money. People are going to have an opinion about how he could have dressed differently or requested the money in a different way, or how he shouldn't have written anything on the back of the withdrawal slip, but why couldn't they have just asked for his ID and debit card? This kind of stuff happens every day, and the fact that he's a famous director is one of the only reasons we're even hearing about this incident, and it's really not okay. According to the report, officers quickly realized the incident was a big mistake and admitted that Ryan was never in the wrong. Soon after, he was allegedly released from the handcuffs and was taken out of the police vehicle. Bank of America issued a statement to E! News on March 9th to publicly apologize to Ryan. The statement read, We deeply regret that this incident occurred, it should have never happened, and we apologize to Mr. Kugler. And despite having been through a traumatizing, embarrassing, and all too common situation, Ryan seems like he's more than willing to just move on. While speaking with E! News, Ryan said, This situation should have never happened. However, Bank of America worked with me and addressed it to my satisfaction, and we have moved on. It sounds like representatives for Bank of America have apologized to Ryan, and hopefully each party feels satisfied with whatever solution they have agreed upon. More importantly, we hope they take action to make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen again. Now click right over here for another clever news video, then let us know all your thoughts on this story in the comments down below. I think he was very gracious with Bank of America. I'm your girl Carly Henderson. You can find me on social media at Carly Henderson underscore, and I'll see you next time.